Welcome to Super at 60. I'm Darlene. I'm so excited today. It's such a picture perfect morning. I have two delicious recipes I want to share with you guys. Some beautiful pumpkin spice cheese danish. Oh my goodness, they are so spicy and so, so beautiful. And a heartwarming Amish country hearty family casserole. Now generally I make half of the recipe when I make a big dish like this because it's just Lou and me and I tell you that all the time. But today it is, this is such a delicious recipe that I think we could probably eat off of it for most of the week. <laughs> and I decided, yes, I'm going to make the whole thing today. It's just so beautiful to look at and so delicious and of course company worthy. Both of these recipes are simply perfect for a cozy fall supper. I'm going to start these pumpkin um, delicious Danish with my sourdough uh, today. I'm going to use sourdough. Now you can use any kind of dough that you like. Just make sure that it, it is an enriched dough. In other words, it has plenty of butter in it and an egg. And I have today a sourdough enriched dough that I'm going to use. Um, I make those delicious one hour one rise cinnamon buns and I'll put that uh, video below. Actually, I'll put the recipe below for you if you want to make these and use a yeast dough if you don't do sourdough and it'll be absolutely delicious. So all I'm doing, I made this dough the night before. I let it sit and rise, and here it is this morning. Absolutely beautiful. And all I'm going to do is go ahead and roll them up, kind of sort of like uh, cinnamon roll style. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to make sure that I get my pieces as even as possible. I'm going to make 12 rolls. These will make 12 rolls. And you'll see they make a pretty good size uh, Danish. So I probably could have gone maybe even 15. Maybe next time I make them. I will go 15 and I have made this before. I have not made the pumpkin before, but I have made, oh gosh, what was it? I think it was a strawberry Danish or blueberry something where I used uh, fresh, fresh fruit and it was just, oh my goodness, they were so good. So I thought I gotta do something pumpkin spice with these guys. So here I am just kind of cutting them all up. Um, some of the pieces were smaller than others. So just take a chunk from one of the other pieces, roll it up just like I'm doing here and then uh, give it a roll on right on your palm of your hand. That's how someone first uh, taught me how to roll a dinner roll. It's just like you're making dinner rolls actually right now, but make sure again uh, that you use an enriched sourdough or an enriched yeast dough. That's real important. Put them all on a sheet tray just like this. Look how beautiful they are. Oh my goodness. Watch uh, because they're going to come out so nice and puffy. And what I like to do is turn my oven on about, well, as low as it'll go. And for mine, it's about 150. And then shut the oven off immediately. I open the door for just a second while I get these guys ready with a nice um, wet cloth of some kind, a wet tea towel of some kind. And then I'm going to put them in the oven. Now make sure your oven isn't too hot. You should be able to touch the grills inside. Um, it shouldn't be you know, burning hot because you don't want to bake them. We're using our oven as a proofing box. And these guys are going to be ready to go in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And that's all there is to it. And while they're in the oven, we can go ahead and start on the filling. It is absolutely a fabulous filling. Uh, I've made several, several different kinds of fillings for all kinds of things throughout my life, you know, including pumpkin pie. But um, this one in particular just has a really nice flavor to it. I think because it starts out with a whole brick and eight ounce of uh, cream cheese. Yeah. And we're going to add all kinds of wonderful things to it. Cream cheese and uh, some sugar. You want to put some sugar in there. And this morning I'm using monk fruit. I just decided, you know what? I think it's going to come out okay. So I'm going to go ahead with that. But you use white sugar if you like. Um, that's just fine. Some pumpkin uh, puree. We're going to put pumpkin puree in there. Some. This is my own vanilla. I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in there. The recipes, as always, will always be below. Um, in case I forget to mention it here on video, it'll be below for you. And just give it a good, good uh, stir there. I'm also going to put in two tablespoons of, um, I believe that's my tablespoon, maybe that, nope, that's my teaspoon. And that's flour. It just helps the, get it nice and combined. You know, you don't want it, you don't want it too thick, but you don't want it runny either. You don't want it like a pumpkin pie filling. That's just too runny for this. And then a little pinch of salt. And then at the end here, I just put in a little bit of uh, brown sugar. That's organic brown sugar. 
And I just think that molasses flavor will be so nice. Now that is not in the recipe. That is a Darlene thing. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm betting that it's going to be absolutely delicious. All right. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get started on that hearty, delicious uh, Amish casserole. I chose macaronis for today as my pasta. And here I'm just kind of breaking up some, um, this is uh, a pound of organic ground beef, making sure that that gets nice and browned up. A little bit of onion in there, always a little bit of onion, right? Yeah, I just I love onion in everything. My husband does not, but he's been real good at eating it lately, or he's been real good at not complaining about it. But we're just going to let that brown up and make sure that your onions are nice and translucent and they'll be ready to go for you. And I also put in a little bit of brown sugar also in this dish. And um, this is some Campbell's tomato soup. I love using tomato soup. I think it just, it has a flavor in it that is just not like just a tomato product, like a diced tomato or crushed tomato, although you could use that. But I like to use a tomato soup. And the recipe for the Amish um for this Amish dinner that I'm making for you today. And the recipe for this Amish dinner does call for tomato soup. So that's why I always use it. And sometimes I throw it in other things as well. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Golden brown and bubbly. It is so yummy. All right, I'm just going to pour all that goodness over my noodles. And again, choose any kind of noodles, noodles that you like. And yes, I did scoop all the rest of it out and just pour it in there and stir it up real good. Now don't break, try not to break up your noodles too much, but do get it stirred well. And then I like to add in some frozen peas. Now this part is not, is not part of the recipe. That's just a darling thing again. I like to throw some greens in there and we like sweet peas. So it's a, it's a perfect combination for Lou and I. Just go ahead and pour it into your most beautiful casserole dish. Uh, a nine by, what, a nine by 12 dish would be just perfect. Now by 13, um, I like this little little uh, casserole dish that I have here, pat it down, and some cheese on top. You can add cheddar cheese, provolone cheese, uh, any kind of cheese that you really like. This is mozzarella, that's what we really enjoy. But uh, again, any kind of cheese will be just fine. And then now here are my homemade breadcrumbs. Here's where what really makes this casserole so incredibly delicious. You wanna take some breadcrumbs, whether they're store-bought or your own, these are my own sourdough, um, Brown up about two, three tablespoons of butter and then throw, toss in your, uh, your breadcrumbs and just wait till they are toasty and brown. It takes about five minutes. Just stir them and all of a sudden you'll, you'll start to smell them browning and uh, you'll smell the bread. It's just so delicious and go ahead and toss them right over the cheese, right on top of your casserole and smooth them out all over. Just get them in, get them in every corner because you want a bite of these delicious crumbs and every bite that, that is taken out of this casserole. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be so good. All right. We'll put that in the uh, oven in just a little bit. And here we have the risen rolls here. Look how they have, have risen there. They're just beautiful. Now here comes, this is the fun creative part. I love doing this right here. Dip your fingers in some flowers because this will really help because they're a little bit sticky. And uh, just go ahead and push down the middle so that you're making room for any kind of filling that you put in here. And today it's that pumpkin spice cream cheese filling. It do exactly what I'm doing here. So you've made a little well right in the middle and take about a tablespoon, a full, full tablespoon of any kind of filling that you're going to put in there. Look how beautiful it just sits. Just kind of nests right down in there. In there. It is, it is just so beautiful. And do that, fill up the whole tray. And then, of course, I love to use these beautiful sprinkles, these clear sugary sprinkles, and I put them all over. I'm trying to get the outside, but of course they're going to hit the inside as well because you won't see that because we have a little bit of a glaze that I'm going to run over the top of them. All right, here they go into the oven and we'll just let them bake away. They are so beautiful and they smell so yummy. And here they are done. Look how golden brown the bread is. It's so beautiful and yet it's not hard. You know, it's a very soft bread because it was, we started with an enriched bread loaf and they are really, really lovely. I'm going to go ahead and mix up just a simple powdered sugar and heavy cream 
uh, frosting and frost each and every one of these. And look at these. You could pick up one of these at any of your most wonderful coffee spots with a cup of coffee and just be in heaven. And look at this all toasty and brown. And here I'm going to give you a little uh, a sample here of what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Oh my goodness. You should have smelled my kitchen between the pumpkin spice. <laughs> look at that casserole. It's so good. Oh my goodness. You can see every bit of all the goodies that we put in there. Oh my goodness. Friends, thank you so much for being here with me today. I sure would love a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys so very soon. Bye now and Lord bless.